Early season applications in corn, there's three main reasons why growers would want to do that. One of the first is that at that point in time, early in the season, physiologically there's some things that are happening in the plant that we want to help get into more a productive mode. And around V4, that's when plants have to become first fully autotrophic. Up until that point in time, the plant can live off a lot of the starch that's in the grain under the ground, but that supply is depleted and about V4 it runs out. So the plant is going under stress. A lot of its yield potential is determined in this stage. So one of the second things is about it is we are trying to reduce disease pressure in the middle part of the canopy. The middle canopy is what's most important for photosynthate production. But the diseases, many of them that survive in the crop residue, they initially infect lower leaves and slowly move up the plant like a ladder. So by making an early season application of a fungicide, I can keep those lower leaves cleaner longer, which delays the onset of that climb up the plant, which delays onset of disease in the middle part of the canopy. So I get some indirect protection of those leaves. And the third thing is due to stalk strength. Now a lot of the pathogens that can cause stalk rots come up through the roots early in the season. And a fungicide that's effective on these pathogens will keep them out of the stalk. So by keeping the pathogens or these fungi from entering the plant, we now can have better, stronger stalks through the season. Which is important because if the stalk becomes weaker and we have a half pound ear, the wind comes through, there's a lot of torque on that stalk. So if it's weak, then it can fall over and lodge. And then we have ear drops, which causes herbicide problems the next year, all kinds of things. But the stalk is also a conduit for all the vascular tissue. So if my stalk becomes compromised, then the vascular tissue can also be in trouble. And if I start to get blockage or dysfunction in the vascular tissue, I can't get the moisture and nutrients from the soil up into the leaves to keep them alive all the way through, through grain fill. You really strengthen the stalks already early on with that uh, application. Also, the Dao being such a powerful fungicide actually starts already controlling stalk diseases early on, which then shows with a much better standability of the corn. And later on, at the end of the season, when you harvest the corn, it's a much better harvestability because the standability is so, so much higher. What's great about early season applications of fungicide products like Delaro is the convenience of the spray. For a while as an industry we spoke very much about V5 and that makes V5 sound like that magic timing that the product has to go out, but that is somewhat misleading. What's really important is take advantage of the herbicide pass mix the fungicide in with it and Delaro is a, it's a formulation that mixes incredibly easily with all the herbicide options that you have out there in the market for post-emergent herbicides. And also at the early season timing, your incremental cost of your fungicide can be lower than say the tassel spray. Because the plant is smaller, it's much easier to get an effective concentration of the active ingredients on your target leaves. So on our good label for our fungicides, you can actually use a size appropriate rate. This low rate it's a low incremental cost and because it's, con it's convenient because I'm going across the field anyway with my herbicide. So the two things work very nicely in concert. There's a whole raft of different things that are cascade reactions from that early season spray. So at harvest, you'll end up having primarily better standing stalks, so you can harvest more, more effectively and you'll tend to have a yield increase as well. So there's a double benefit that you can get from making that early season treatment.